Hey, boys and girls. So for those of you that were on our Zoom live teaching session earlier, uh, you remember that my internet was having some issues and I know that I was cutting out a lot. And I promised that I would make you guys a YouTube tutorial on this skill. So here it is. So for the past two weeks, we've been working on a strategy called branching which is also sometimes called decomposing or partial sums. And that strategy is where you basically break numbers down into tens and ones in order to add and subtract them. And we use this strategy for two digit numbers. So you guys have gotten really good at that. I've been looking and seeing that everyone has been getting really great scores on their math lesson practice. And so I wanted to take it a little bit a little step further and talk about um, how to find missing parts in equations that have two digit numbers. And that's what we were working on on our call today when my internet was acting up a little bit. So I'm going to do that here and I want to start with some smaller numbers just to get our brains warmed up. So as you can see here, we have a missing part in this equation. We have two plus an unknown number equals 10. So there are a couple ways we could do this, right? Um, one thing that we did a lot in first grade this year is we would put two in our head and then we would count up until 10 and see how many hops we had to go up the number line. Now that is a great strategy, but when you are working with larger numbers, it's not a very efficient strategy. So what you can also do is you can use your related facts to solve this equation. And when you have bigger numbers, that's gonna be more helpful. So related facts are facts that are in what we call a fact family, right? There are three numbers in a fact family that are all related by addition and subtraction. So in this equation here, two plus an unknown number equals 10, 10 is my whole number. And I have one part, which is two, and I'm missing a part. Let's go through and let's write all of the equations that we can make in this fact family. So if two plus an unknown number equals 10, then that unknown number plus two, oops, sorry, also equals 10. Flip-flop property, right? Oh my gosh, y'all, I'm sorry, that 10 it looks crazy. But the flip-flop property or the commutative property tells us that we can add no, add-ins in any order and we will still get the same sum, right? Okay, so there are two addition sentences. Let's write our subtraction sentence. Take Remember, subtraction is a whole, take away a part, equals a part. So our whole number is 10. subtract two is gonna give us that unknown part. Or we could also say 10, oh gosh, sorry guys. 10 subtract that unknown part equals two. Now, if we use this equation right here, 10 subtract two, we can find that unknown part. I know that 10 subtract two is eight. So that means that all of these unknown parts are now known. If 10 subtract 2 equals 8, then 2 plus 8 equals 10. 8 plus 2 equals 10. And 10 subtract 8 equals 2. So I can come over here to my number bond and fill in the missing part. So I was solving for this missing part, and I did it by using a related fact. If two plus eight equals 10, then 10 subtract two equals eight. Easy, right? Let's make the numbers a little bit bigger here. 24 plus an unknown number equals 76. 24 plus an unknown number equals 76. The first thing I want to ask myself is, am I missing a whole or a part? I'm missing a part because this is a addition sentence. A part plus a part equals a whole. I'm missing a part here. My whole number is 76. One part is 24. And I am missing a part. Let's think about how we could use related facts to help us solve. Hmm. 
If I have the whole and I have one of the parts, I can use subtraction here because I could take this whole number, 76, and then I can subtract 24 and I will get my missing part, right? Because if I have one of the parts and I have the whole, I can say a whole, take away the part, will give me the missing part. Now I'm ready to branch. 76 branches into 70 and 6. 24 branches into 20 and 4. My pen's a little thick, guys. Let me fix that so we can see a little bit better. That should help us. There we go. All right, so I'm going to circle my tens, 70 and 20. I am subtracting, so I'm going to write 70 subtract 20. If I can do 7 subtract 2, I can do 70 subtract 20. 7 tens, take away 2 tens is 5 tens, which is 50. Now I'm going to subtract one my, my 1. 6 subtract 4 equals 2. I took these num the tens and the ones apart, and now I have to put them back together. 50 and 2, secret code cards, very easy, equals 52. So 76 subtract 24 equals 52. So 24 plus 52 equals 76. My missing part here was 52. Now, you guys aren't going to be tested on this on your show, what you know, tomorrow, but because you guys were doing so well, I just wanted to take it to the next level, make sure we got our second grade brains on. So I'll post a little bit of practice for this for you guys to do. I hope this video was helpful, and I'm sorry that it's so hard for me to uh, <laughs> write on the screen here. I hope that you can read it. Miss you guys. Love you.